Hey Simmers, I'm back with some juicy Sims 4 news. The Love Struck expansion pack is dropping on the 25th of July, and let me tell you, it's gonna be a game changer for lovebirds and those looking for a little something extra. We're talking Holly Mori. That is consensual relationships which contain more than two people. Right now, if you want proper poly relationships in The Sims 4, you have to rely on mods like Wicked Whims, which is not very safe for YouTube, or Lumpenu's Open Love Life, which allows for various non-exclusive relationship types, including polyamory, triads, and side partners. These are great, but if you can't use mods, you are of course missing out. Now, with Lovestruck, Everyone will be getting a slice of the polyamory pie. Alongside the Lovestruck expansion, the devs are giving us a free base game update which will introduce the Romantic Boundaries system. This lets you control how your sims approach love. Want a jealous hubby? Or maybe a chill sim who's cool with their partner having other partners? Maybe your sim wants a free-loving lifestyle. No matter what kind of romantic story you want to tell, this base game update with the Romantic Boundaries system will have you covered. On top of that, with the Love Struck expansion, we're going to have the Cupid's Corner dating app. Now, what is this? You can probably think of it as a kind of Tinder for Sims. You create your Sims profile, complete with their type and preferences, Check out other Sims profiles, including Sims from the gallery. Click the love heart on the ones that you want your Sim to get to know. Then plan romantic outings from the ground up to find the perfect partner or partners for your Sim's unique desires. The app even integrates with the gallery, as I mentioned before, so you can find potential partners from all all over the Sims universe, and not just in your save. Lovestruck also introduces the turn-ons and turn-offs system. This lets you customize what your Sims find attractive, adding a whole new layer to relationships. Right now, we don't know exactly how this is going to look in-game, but if I had to guess, and this is pure speculation, I'm picturing something like the likes and dislikes system in Create a Sim, where we can choose from a list of things that our sims are looking for in their possible relationships. The Sims Love Struck Pack will also give us new relationship dynamics such as Wholesome, think my partner is my best friend, Steamy, which is all about the physical side of a relationship, Strained, where one or all partners are constantly arguing with each other, and Unpredictable. With this one, think kind of those on-again, off-again relationships. These dynamics can be applied to different relationships within a polycule, allowing for more complex and realistic interactions. There's even a whole new world called Enamorada, which basically means love city, the perfect place to explore all of these new romance options. So what does the community think about all of this? As always, comments on social media have ranged from not in my Christian Sims save to Let's get our freak on. Now, obviously, I'm paraphrasing, but this kind of gives you the idea of the extreme reactions on both sides of the spectrum. Overall, though, the mood is very positive amongst those of you who have noticed that this feature is being put into the game. Finally, official polyamory without mods. This means more inclusive storytelling, no matter your sin's preference. Plus, console players can finally join in on the poly party. Now, some of you may be wondering, why should we care? In my opinion, this update is a game changer. We're talking complex relationships, realistic dynamics, and the freedom to explore love in all of its messy glory. Plus, no more worrying about jealousy ruining the whole thing. Holy relationships are a real-life thing. I should know I'm in one. And for those of us who are part of a polycule, it's nice to finally be able to properly recreate that in our Sims worlds without one or more Sims getting jealous or angry because the other Sim 
cheated on them. Furthermore, this marks a significant step forward in representing diverse relationship structures in The Sims 4, allowing us all to tell more inclusive and varied stories. With the romantic boundary system, the turn-ons and turn-offs, and of course, the amazing Cupid's Corner app, Lovestruck looks like it's going to be a dream come true for players who want to explore polyamory, open relationships, or even just a different kind of dating in their Sims world. It's more realistic, more inclusive, and opens the door for some truly unique storylines. Get ready to spice up your Sims love lives with the Lovestruck expansion pack. You can pre-order the pack via the EA app and over on the EA.com website. If you do, please don't forget to use my creator code, MuraJargon, before you check out. Using my code doesn't cost you any extra, and it gives me a small percentage of what you spend, which helps support what I do here. This is just the beginning of a whole new era of Love in The Sims 4, and I am all for it. But what do you think? Share your thoughts and hopes for the upcoming pack in the comments below. And until next time, my friends, happy simming.